Hey everybody, it's Pastor Rob with today's Bible Break Devotion from the book of Revelation. Today I'm talking about the very important subject of it is worth it because he is worthy. Now we're in Revelation uh, chapter 5 and verse 12. By the way, you don't have to be worried about the book of Revelation. You don't have to be like, woo, it's all freaky. No, it's not. It's just, it's Bible. It's all good. Uh, listen, God wrote the book of Revelation and uh, if you're saved, the Spirit of God lives inside of you, and the Spirit of God inspired the Scriptures. So just ask the author, hey, what do you mean by that? Now, prophecy, by its very nature, is is clouded. The Bible says, it says, we see, now we see through a glass darkly. It's kind of like going up and looking through a window, and it's all dark. You know, like, I, I can see shapes and outlines and some ideas, but when we look through the window of prophecy, we do things, see things darkly. That's why the Bible calls it a mystery because we're not exactly sure. God has revealed to us what he wants us to know in clarity in the scriptures, and then he's given us and revealed to us some of the mystery in prophecy. So some of it we read, we go, I don't, I don't understand that. We're not going to understand it. Now, when we get to heaven and we look back on it, we go, oh, that's what God meant on that. It's like we look back at the birth of Christ, and we look back some of the other seminal events that happened in the Bible, and they were prophetic. And during those days, the people were like, I, what? I, I don't see it. I don't see it. All right. And now we're looking back on it. Why didn't you see it? It's because it was prophetic. And they were looking through a glass dark, darkly and they, they couldn't see it distinctly. So don't worry about the Revel uh, book of Revelation, or I should say, don't get all freaked out about it. Don't avoid it because you don't understand it. Get in it. Read it. Ask God to help you with it. But anyway, our, uh, back to the subject at hand. That was free. That wasn't even part of the devotion. Uh, but today, I want to just read to you Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. Now, it says, saying with a loud voice, worthy. I want you to take a note of that note word. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Woo! Glory. Jesus is worthy. Uh, he is worthy. That lamb, it's a capital L. That's the lamb of God. That's the son of God. That's Jesus. Now listen, by the way, don't let anybody or any church or religion or denomination tell you that the son of God, the lamb of God is not God the son and all of the son of God he come incarnate. He is all God. And yet at the same time, he was all man. You say, I don't understand. It doesn't mean you have to understand it. We accept it by faith. Hey, he's God, my friend. He can do anything he wants. He can do anything but fail. But listen, the, the point of the devotion today, I'll, I'll get to the point of the devotion, is this. It's worth it because he's worthy. Have you ever thought to yourself, and maybe it's just me, that's like, is this worth it? I mean, especially, uh, we'll just, we'll go to the average ordinary Christian, and you think, man, I, I want to love God, and I, I want to do right, and I want to lead my family right, and I, I want to have my family and my kids in church, and I, I want them to turn out right and moral and know God and be saved. And, and, and you look at the tide that's a, a, of society and culture that's absolutely just pushing against it, and you're like, is it worth the struggle? Hey, for those of us in the ministry, maybe you're a preacher, a youth pastor, a, a missionary, and, and you're looking at this whole wide world, and the Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness, and you're like, amen right there, brother. Um, and like, is anybody paying attention? Does anybody care? And sometimes we even as pastors, we go, is it worth it? I mean, you pre, you study and you prepare and you preach and you teach and you do all this stuff and you, and you visitation and everything. And it's like, nobody cares. Uh, no, nobody, you know, you go through spells and nobody shows up. Nobody cares. Nobody's interested. Uh, I mean, you study your heart out, you preach your brains out and they're like, oh, what time is this? it's time to go home. Nobody cares. And, and we start to wonder, is it even worth it? Is it worth it to be in the ministry, the struggle and the burden, the labor? Is it worth it to try and walk with God in a wicked world and to, to live a sanctified and set apart life? By the way, the doctrine of separ uh, separation and sanctification, it's still in the Bible. Uh, emergent church folks, it's still in the Bible. The Lord says, be ye holy for I am holy. It's, it's still in the Bible. Now listen, Sometimes we begin to wonder, is it worth it? Hey, 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 if you're in a ministry, it's not worth it for the paycheck. Let me tell you something. The hassle is not worth the paycheck. Uh, can I say as a Christian, the, the opposition, the ridicule, whatever it is, the, just the, 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 the force of opposition to walk with God and be a good Christian, it's not worth it for earthly acclaim or uh, if you're trying to get something. But the, there is a reason. Can I say there is a reason 
that it's worth it. It's worth it, Christian. You know why? He's worth it. He's worthy. He's worthy of every struggle. He's worthy of every effort. He's worthy of everything. In fact, listen to that Bible verse again. It says, saying with a loud voice, hallelujah, right there, worthy is the lamb that it was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. He's worthy. Oh, my friend, we have a real, risen, righteous, and soon returning and one day reigning Savior. He's worthy. My friend, he's worthy to, for you to live right. He's worthy for you to strive for godliness. Hey, preacher, hey, missionary, hey, missionary's wife, preacher's wife, youth pastor, bus worker, Sunday school teacher, he's worthy. He says it's worthy. He's worthy of strength. You know whose strength it is? Your strength. He's worthy of blessing. He's, it's worthy. He's worthy for us to bless his holy name. He's worthy. So my friend, the next time you ask yourself this question, or th even think in your mind, is this even worth it? Hey, it's worth it because he's worthy. I hope this is a help to you, my friend. I know it helped me. It challenged me. Until we meet again, let's keep looking unto Jesus.